should you buy The Last of Us in 2021? The Last of Us released in 2013 to almost perfect reviews from everyone across the board. A few reviewers didn't like how the game played and was already tired of Naughty Dog's formula with storytelling. So how has The Last of Us aged and is The Last of Us worth playing in 2021? We'll be talking narrative and gameplay. Welcome to Classic Game Reviews where we go back in time and take a look at the games of the past and today's game is The Last of Us. One last thing, if you do enjoy this content and want to support the channel, smash that like button and consider sticking around by subscribing. Thank you to everyone that supported the channel, we've hit 290 subscribers, we're almost at 300. Thank you all for the support. The Last of Us is known as one of the best stories told in the gaming industry, and I can't sit here and deny that. It was my favourite game of all time until Ghost of Tsushima came out, but I have to be critical. The Last of Us is without a doubt the best game Naughty Dog has made, but The Last of Us definitely has issues. Let's start positive. The pacing through the narrative is pretty much perfect. The characters develop over time really well, and there was no sudden jumps, and that is thanks to the great writing, as well as the amount of ridiculous detail put into Ellie's mannerisms during the gameplay. It's it's incredibly clear that the writing went through multiple drafts to get everything just right and every single character develops realistically. The variety of characters is crazy to me, like Joel, Tess, Sam, Henry, Bill, Tommy, etc. that are all written to almost perfection in my opinion and still holds up today, and I genuinely still believe no narrative has beaten its quality even after 8 years of it existing. Voice acting and animation is still top notch, even by today's standards, and while yes the game has aged over time, it's more of a fine wine rather than spoiled milk. I think the game's visuals and acting will be timeless, thanks to the incredible amount of detail in every scene and the Oscar-worthy performances from Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson. The Last of Us does have some slight issues though in terms of narrative. If you don't play the DLC, there is a moment where Joel is injured and we have a mini time skip, and while the game explains what happened, it doesn't seem a tad rushed due to the character's sudden ability to recover almost instantly when you get back into the gameplay, which kind of splits the narrative from the gameplay, which the game did a very good job of avoiding up until that point. I think there was a missed opportunity to show that the world of The Last of Us is already dangerous, but then put you in a position where weapons can't be used and you can barely move. I think it would have added another layer to the world building, showing that people are really only worth the amount of people they can take out. I know that's quite nitpicky of me, but if there was an issue with the narrative, that would be it. I honestly can't think of anything else that's negative with The Last of Us. Even when I try to distance myself from my bias, I genuinely think it's the best story told in the industry, but was almost overtaken by God of War. Real boy. Should you buy The Last of Us in 2021 for its narrative? Absolutely. But if you're not sold yet, let's talk gameplay. Don't do anything stupid now. Now, a lot of the criticisms from a lot of reviewers is the gameplay, and I, I can totally see why. The Last of Us is a third-person action-adventure horror game, but it's less horror but more of a thriller, but they called it a horror game. The gameplay follows that to a T. You walk around and loot items, stealth around the areas, and hide behind cover and shoot. That is pretty much the whole game, but it's the backdrop that makes the game worth playing. A lot of the story is told through gameplay. Ellie begins to help out heavily in combat, calling out enemies and sometimes even attacking them to save your ass from a flanker. The best stories in gaming are told through gameplay, The Last of Us just nails it here. The AI, while dated, works well and does actually attempt to corner you and are really aggressive and flank you as I've mentioned. The infected offer a good amount of situations that are different from the human enemies and do take a few encounters to learn the best way to handle the infected, especially with the clickers and then the bloaters towards the end of the game. You have to figure it all out and it, it kind of blends very well. Animations are great for a game from 2013, the close quarters combat feels great and has heavily inspired games like God of War with the close camera and heavy feeling punches. There's also a variety of good weapons that handle differently and offer a different way to play each encounter. You've got a flamethrower, you've got you know your normal pistols, you've got your fists, you've got your shanks, you've got all sorts. It's not all great though, the AI while aggressive is very inconsistent. There are times where the AI is terrific and flank and attack you in a group but then there are moments where they stand and just stare at you waiting to be wiped out by the player. There is a variety of enemies to take out, but towards the end of the game you pretty much have seen everything, so if you need a game that will constantly surprise you, The Last of Us will eventually lose that feeling towards the end, but it's not a deal breaker, in my opinion. There are a few glitches still about in the game, but I rarely bump into them since most of them have been patched, but I have seen some unlucky players experience some irritating bugs online, so you know, it's, it's kind of hit and miss as usual. Stealth is also pretty average. It's definitely not a splinter cell game, I can tell you that, but it gets the job done. 
It's very Ubisoft stealth, but with better AI. So if you really need good AI for your stealth experience, this isn't going to be for you. Despite all those issues, the gameplay still stands the test of time for me personally. But as I have said, it's only recently been dethroned as my favourite game of all time by Ghost of Tsushima. So should you buy The Last of Us in 2021? I think you already know the answer. It's a yes. You should absolutely buy this game, and The Last of Us is without a doubt an absolute classic. Thank you for watching.